All right, guys, welcome back to this FIFA 18 career mode save with Liverpool. If you remember it, last episode then, we had a couple of nervy games where we actually went 1-0 down uh, in the first half and managed to pull them back. First against Leicester, which we won 2-1, and then a really nervy game against Burnley, which I also somehow managed to win 2-1. Today, I think we might be exclusively in cup action. Yep, we have an FA Cup game against Arsenal at home which we played Arsenal recently and uh, managed a one-all draw. Whether or not I can repeat that, I don't know, but I'll certainly have a go, try and do one better and beat them. Uh, and then if you remember, recently we played Swansea and actually struggled to break them down. So this might be interesting because we have them in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, which means we have to play them twice altogether if we want to get to the final. We should hopefully also find out if we are going to be signing Lewis Cook or not, he's taking some time to consider his options. Uh, but for now, let's crack on and play that first game against Arsenal. Well, I guess we're going to find out before we play that first game. Uh, he doesn't like the offer. So it looks like we're not going to be signing Lewis Cook just yet. But we have had a transfer offer for Divock Origi. Now, I played Origi in the last game and he did quite well and I was thinking about keeping him as backup for uh, Salah on that right-hand side. But if Watford are going to offer me some decent money and they've offered under his transfer value, so we shall see if we can get that pumped up a bit but if they'll offer me some decent money that frees up some wages and some transfer budget and I might be able to bring Cook in after all so we are going to negotiate or we're going to accept the offer because I pressed the wrong button <sighs> you can tell that I'm doing this last minute because I've got to get this video up before Wrestlemania can't you well I'm definitely not selling Klein they can, West Ham can tickle he is going nowhere and I'm definitely pressing the right thing this time FA Cup action then and I have gone with probably the strongest team that I can field uh, unless you consider Correa a weakness behind Icardi but Salah and Mane both take their places back Icardi comes back in for Dolberg Chan and Goretzka are still in centre and midfield with Van Dijk and Evans playing at centre back Okay, no pressure on you then here, Wosley, but this is quite an important game. And if we can have a nice performance, that would be fan bloody tastic. Salah can set Klein off down this wing. He hasn't got that many options. Ramsey getting the block in before Mane could get on the end of that one. I want to try and keep pressure on Arsenal in this, but I also want to try and keep possession where I can I keep conceding like silly goals when I do concede and I'm also, see that's what you were talking about was it conceding possession and nearly conceded a free kick yeah I'm, I'm not performing as well as I probably should because I'm snatching at chances a lot of the time, like my mate Kyle pointed that one out uh, saying that I'm like trying to shoot on weak foot like with Salah I'm cutting inside but then not using his strongest foot I need to think about body position and stuff like that I also just need to be a better FIFA player in general but oh Mkhitaryan with a nice pass into Ramsey which he seemed to waste almost you're just taking piss now lads come on El Nenny. As Welbeck. Welbeck's playing. Ozil finds El Nenny and finally Salah gets the ball away and we can break with Emre Chan. I hadn't had time to play any FIFA before I started rolling either because like I was saying earlier I'm uh, on a bit of a time frame. It's Wrestlemania and I forgot to actually film any FIFA before today and I usually put out a video on Sunday so... I'm just trying to get this one filmed before uh, Lexi comes round and we start watching the pre-show. Chan, back to Salah. Salah runs straight into Kolasnic. With my own fault, I knocked the ball on too far, uh, far too early then. Bellerin breaking down this wing. 
Welbeck and Emre Chan with a decent tackle gets him off the ball. Correa nearly loses possession, but it ricochets off Mkhitaryan and goes out for a throw. Correa, Correa is playing very deep, and I don't know why. I might have to have a look at that in a minute. Icardi, Monreal dispossesses him. Ozil and Monreal keeping possession. Monreal gets hacked down, but Arsenal get advantage and come away with the ball. Kolasnic sending the ball to Welbeck. Took it out wide. Evans with a great tackle. Icardi looking to get in behind Mustafi, but it's not happening. I don't want to be, ironically, I don't want to be Arsenal though, or like the traditional idea of what Arsenal are as a team. You know that uh, scene from the IT crowd where Arsenal always just want to walk it in. I don't want to be that team. I do want to try and play exciting football, but because I'm always trying to attack and break away with ball whenever I've got possession, I ultimately end up losing possession. We could be on here though. Oh, Monreal cutting out that pass before Akadi can break onto Ender it. That would have been a nice bit of play. We are nearly at half time. If we can go in half time, uh, in at half time, nil nil. Don't want to speak too soon though, because Erzl's brock into the box. Oh, and just wide. And I think the referee's brought it to a close. Yep, that is it. Nil nil at half time and. Could have been worse, but could have been better. Unlike normal, I have made a substitution at halftime. And it's a bit of a weird one, because I've took Correa off, who's rated in the 80s. I want to say 80 or 81. And I've brought Ben Woodburn on. But Ben has performed well in the games that he's played recently, and Correa just kind of disappeared from that game. Speaking of Woodburn, here the young lad is. Sets Akadi off. We pass that back to Woodburn. No, but we can now. Finds a cardi. Oh, he swings, but he doesn't get connection on the ball, and Ozil comes away with it. Oh, we could be on here. Oh, Woodburn off the bar. How unlucky do you have to be? And Bellerin gets it out for a corner. See, instantly playing better without Correa in that number nine role. Johnny Evans getting nowhere near that header. And there's that sight again. Aubameyang coming on, not a sight you want to see, especially when it's nil-nil. Yeah, instantly made all the difference, bringing Woodburn on, even though he's only a youngster. Maybe it's because I'm playing Correa like, out of position. He can play in that role, it's just not his primary role. Akadi, back to Mane, back to Akadi. can we feed Woodburn through? Oh, great save by Espina to deny Ben Woodburn. Evans jumping for the ball, but doesn't get it. Oh, sent just wide in the end with that second header. Woodburn finds Akadi. And for some reason, I tried hitting the ball uh, button to shoot then, and nothing happened. Goretzka winning the ball back. That could be an important interception, and Woodburn's on the end of this. Oh, blocked by Monreal. Whip this in the middle. Who have we got? Van Dyke, oh great save. Akadi. How many chances are we going to miss in this second half? Don't want to concede now when we've been playing so well. Well done, Dragovski gets on the end of it. Only as far as Ramsey, who's going to try and get this back in the box. Kolasnic. Dragovski again. Oh. Honestly thought that were on its way in. Dragovski still down on ground. He had a virtually open net. And we can set Salah off here. Oh, great ball to Akadi. And then that were a shit through ball to follow up. Oh, great ball to Maitland Niles, who seems to have swapped wings. Van Dyke deals with that brilliantly. And Akadi with the header. We've got nobody up front if that were Akadi. Nice back heel from Woodburn, though. Chan finds Woodburn again, sends it out to Salah. Oh, Salah looking to feed through Akadi, but the ball cut out. Woodburn wins the ball back off Xhaka, and unfairly, according to the referee. Don't really fancy a replay, so if I can snatch a late goal like I have done in the last couple of league games, that'd be handy. Or will it go to extra time? I would assume that in like the early rounds of the cup, it'll go to a replay anyway. 
Find out in a minute. Well, that's the news that we wanted. Leverkusen have put in a bid for Daniel Sturridge, 15 and a half million. Now, I do want to get rid of him. They've offered under his value, uh, which is fair enough, but he's never going to play for me. He's 28, he's getting older, and we want some cash. So, I'm just going to accept that. I'm happy with that price. Confirmation then that Divock Origi has sold, which gives us 13 and a half million into the budget. And hopefully that means that I can renegotiate with Lewis Cook and bring him in and he can get his first start in the cup maybe. And there we go, confirmation that Lewis Cook is a Liverpool player, our first signing of the January window. That beefs up our midfield options quite a bit. We now have four central midfielders and I can feel less bad about selling Origi because that means that I can definitely play Oxalade chamberlain as a winger. I'm happy with that business. All right, so we start the semi-finals of the Car uh, Carabao Cup with an away leg first. Heavily rotated team. Dolberg retakes his place up front, who's performed quite well so far this season. I've been impressed with him. Woodburn comes in behind him in that cam roll after an impressive display against Arsenal. Oxlade, Chamberlain, Cliver providing the width. Meyer and the debuting Lewis Cook take the central midfield roles. Lovren and Matip are at centre back, and Carrius gets a rare start in goal. Now, we did struggle against Swansea earlier in the season, not that long ago actually. Uh, and I was playing a weak team then, I do believe. So this could be another one of them games. But after that performance against Arsenal, which I'm particularly pleased with, I'm hopeful that we can do something against Swansea. And of course, it would be fantastic to get to the final of our first cup competition in this career. So hopefully we can do the business and put Swansea out of the thing before the second leg. Dolberg taking this out wide, finds Cliver, oh, the ball cut out. Dolberg finds Cliver, who finds Chamberlain, oh, Flapianski, or oh, Fabianski as he's actually known. We are brilliant, safe to deny Oxalade Chamberlain. Kyle no uh, yeah, Kyle Norton, ex Spurs player. Sends that ball brilliantly to Wilfred Bonnet, but there's nobody on the end of that. And we could break away it, hopefully. Woodburn finds Meyer back to Ben Woodburn ball cut out by Leon Britton but Clivert scoops up that pass Jordan Ayew making a break down that wing he's got Cook with him and oh ref a word about to praise Cook then saying that he expertly takes the ball away from Ayew's feet and the referee pulls it back Lovren with a big header away it's, uh, it's a lot more open than it were the last time I faced Swansea. I'm going to have to have a look at uh, once I've actually finished recording to see what the result of that game were because I'm sure that I really struggled. Oh, Oxlade Chamberlain's pass just cut out by Britain. I were actually. Oh, well done. Dolberg. Dolberg again. Great ball to Woodburn. Can we send this down the wing to Dolberg? Oh, weak foot again. That is exactly what I were on about earlier. I need to stop snatching at chances and reposition my body. Klein. I need to find Dolberg. He knocks it out to Woodburn. Woodburn can find Clivert. See if Clivert can whip this in. Anybody on the end of it? Woodburn and crossbar again. And we have broken the duck. Oxalade Chamberlain, we are half, well, I think we're a half volley and the corner flag dies in celebration. 1 0 Liverpool. Woodburn were extremely unlucky not to get that goal for, like, with his shot. <laughs> like cannoned off the crossbar and Chamberlain just happened to be in the right place at the right time and that was close. No need to actually shoot from that distance. But what can I say? I fancied my chances with that and it weren't far off. Dolberg nearly scored a belter. Clivert tracking back, trying to win the ball back and the ball goes out for a throw. We are in injury time, so we might be going in to half time with a 1 0 victory, which would be preferable. Well, actually, no, preferable would be going in like 4 0, but there we have it. We will go in 1 0 up at half time. Well, unlike last game then, I am happy with performances all round in this. So, no changes just yet. 
Meyer knocks it out wide to Klein, to Cook. Chamberlain finds Meyer again. Dolberg can send it to Clivert. And Clivert doubles our lead. A belter from 20 yards just after kicking off. And that is exactly what we wanted. 2 0. I've got to admit, I got fortunate then. The attempted clearance just happened to clatter against Cliver and the ball landed kindly for him. So I managed to get that shot off. But I'm not going to complain about lucky goals. I will take any goals that we can get. Oh, are you very nearly pulling one back straight away? Ball whipped in the box. And Lovren gets the head on it to get it away. And then Chamberlain does get it away but only as far as Britain who wins the ball back with a great challenge are you ball into the side netting I don't want to get too far ahead of me son. it's only 2-0 and I have uh, conceded plenty over the course of this save Woodburn already hit the crossbar once tests Fabianski and he puts it out for a corner Woodburn from distance ball ricocheting off several players in the middle Always worth having a crack, especially when Woodburn's actually scored a couple of decent goals from that sort of distance. I'm guessing he's got long shots in his arsenal. Oh, well done, Carrius. That were important. Couldn't really make that tackle in box. Jordan, are you going off then? That's uh, that's handy. Ball away by Meyer as far as Dolberg. He's got nobody with him, though, so he has to send it all the way back. Oh, Klein losing possession in a stupid place. All because I had nobody forward following that corner. And Dolberg were isolated. Cook. Cook had has had a decent game in this one. I'm happy with his performance since we signed him. He's not done anything spectacular, but... He's done... Oh, Dolberg. Could we be on? And... Oh, Norton getting the tackle in. That is going to come back to haunt me, innit? That were awful. That should have been 3-0. Should have cut that off. And I didn't. Bonnie manages to find Cullen down on the wing. Get the ball away. Lover, uh, Lewis Cook with another important interception. What were I just saying? He's not done anything amazing, but what he has done, he's done well and he's made some important challenges. And Dolberg gets away with the ball now. Dolberg, not that. Oh, Olsen, very strong and he just knocks the young uh, Dutchman off, unfortunately. Well, lucky kid. Should probably have thought about some substitutions before now because half my team are knackered, but we're in 86 minutes, so. Might as well just see the game out. Back to Norton. You need to attack my goal, lads, if you want to pull a goal back in this. You're not going to get out from farting around in your own box. Oh, Chamberlain should have knocked that one a bit quicker. We are into stoppage time. Chamberlain again. Another terrible pass. Meyer. Pass to Chamberlain were terrible that time. Woodburn chasing it now Klein Klein wins the ball back we get it away and the referee blows the whistle to bring it to a close we win this one 2-0 well I'm not going to lie I would have preferred to uh, beat Arsenal in the FA Cup just so I didn't have to have another replay but I am happy with the performances that we put in especially that second half against Arsenal when I took Correa off Woodburn coming in and doing brilliantly and I'm also happy with the performance against Swansea. I think we did well. Yeah, we should probably have beaten them a little bit more comfortably. And I really did miss a couple of sitters in that game, with Dol especially that shot with Dolberg. But all in all, I'm happy with the performance from them two games and happy with the performance altogether in this episode. For now, though, I'm going to edit this video and get it uploaded so that I can watch Wrestlemania which means that is the end of today's video make sure you twat that like button if you enjoyed the uh, video guys and don't forget to twat that subscribe button if you want to see how the season progresses other than that cheers for watching and I'll see you next episode